Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing how to customize the checkbox component in the storefront UI design system Figma file. So you won't be able to find this component in the component stock over here, but you can find it in the storybook. So here's how it works. So you just have, um, so it's just a simple checkbox with not a lot going on, not a whole lot of customization and you can just disable it, you can say it's required, and all that. So the way it works over here is you have a common component and a disabled version of it, and so if you want to change the font style for, how, for your checkbox, you can just come in over here and change the fonts over here, and it'll reflect across all the components, and you can choose the disabled version of it and that's really all you really need to know. Um, apart from that, it's pretty easy to use. Um, let's see if we can find an example of where to use it. So let's say on our product page, we want to add a checkbox like right here for something. So we go into our assets panel and search for checkbox common and just drag and drop it right here. And zoom in, maybe line it up with the edge of our screen. It looks about right. And let's say by default we don't want to have it checked, so we can actually double click on this icon right here. And you can see th this icon component gets selected right here. We can go from active to resting, and now we have an unselected, unselected checkbox. And to edit the text, we just double click on the text, and we can just put in send me updates about this product there we go and so just like that we've added a checkbox into our design file and if we want to update the font on this if we want to just do specifically to this instance of this component we can come and click in over here and change the fonts right here or we can click on this and go to the main component change the font over here let's say we want to make it bold so now when we go back to our component, it's bold automatically. So let's just undo that. And so yeah, that's how to use the checkbox component. One more thing is you want to go right here and make it disabled. You can just select disabled and the whole thing becomes disabled. And there's one more thing is you can have this be required. And so when you click on it, and you don't have a valid input, it turns red. So the way to do that over here would be, say you have active and you wanna show an invalid input, all you have to do is just go over here and select danger. And there you go, you have your invalid input checkbox. That wraps it up for the checkbox component. And I'll see you in the next episode for, what's the next episode? Next. Um, I think I'll skip Chevron for now and we'll just skip straight over to the circle icons because I don't know what there is to really do with these.